Morning guys, today is Friday the 27th of May and it's about 10 past 6 in the morning. I haven't been able to sleep. I'll give you a little update. I got our test results on Wednesday and everything looked good. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful for that. We obviously thought we were having issues. Yeah, had the test results on Wednesday. They said everything looks really good. I look healthy, Cody looks healthy and it looked like I ovulated that month, which is good because I actually thought I wasn't ovulating. Yeah, so I had that on Wednesday and also last Friday when I went to acupuncture, my acupuncturist said, so she can feel, she like feels my pulse. She felt my pulse and she was like, hmm, weird. I was like, what? I'm not sure if there's two pulses or if you're really hungry and your pulse is fast. So I was like, oh, okay, weird. Obviously last week I tested on the Thursday and it was negative, but I've been having such weird symptoms. So I'm gonna do a test now. Yeah, so the symptoms I've had probably since last, last Tuesday, I started getting really sore boobs, which is very unlike me. So I was like, oh, a bit weird. I don't even get sore boobs when I'm on my period. So I was kind of like, okay, a bit weird. Then I couldn't really sleep either. Yeah, a bit of like insomnia. And then period was due Monday. Today's Friday. Still haven't got it. Haven't really got any signs that it's coming either. Yeah, so boobs have been sore for like two weeks now. So all of last week and then all of this week. My period's now five days late today. And then as of like Monday, which is when the day that my period was due, I've had like cramps down the bottom, but I don't normally get cramps until I've got my period. So I was at work and I was cramping and I was like, oh, I've got my period. Like obviously we're not pregnant this month. Anyway, whatever, went to the bathroom and I didn't. So I was like, okay, weird. And then the next day I cramped again. And I was like, weird. And I've had cramps all week, like just like subtle ones, but cramps, but no period. I've seen other people have had that as their like symptoms that they're pregnant. So I don't know. And then I couldn't sleep. Um, I gave myself until Friday. So when I went to the doctors, she gave me the test results, said it was all good. I said, my period's actually three days late at the moment. And I said, but I'm gonna wait until the end of the week to test. I just was giving myself that. Cause I thought I've tested twice already this cycle. Both times were big fat negatives. But again, I don't know actually when I ovulate in my cycle. So they could have been way too early or I might not have even ovulated yet at that point, but whatever. Cramps, sore boobs. I've also been really emotional, which I think I told you guys. I'm not normally a crier, but like this month, oh, I cried over everything, which is very unlike me. And then, yeah, I woke up at like 4 a.m. this morning and I was, actually it was before 4, it was like 3 something. And I thought, I can't test until Cody goes to work. So I just had to lay there. I read my book for an hour and then I thought, oh, come on back. It's like almost five o'clock, go back to sleep. I like kind of dozed. And then as soon as Cody walked out the door, I peed in the cup and I'm gonna do tests. I really hope, I feel like it is. I feel like this is my month. I feel like I've never had these symptoms before. They're like not period symptoms for me. The doctor said I ovulated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get, I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to get my hopes up. Stop. Are we ready? My heart is racing so fast. Please be pregnant, please be pregnant, please be pregnant. <laughs> two lines, guys, there's two lines, there's definitely two lines. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. I'm actually pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm not imagining signs. I'm actually pregnant. And it's not even like faint, like that's an actual line. Okay, wait. I have a clear blue one. So that was a first response. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel 
like I keep, I kept thinking that I was, but I didn't want to be too hopeful. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I have you here to talk to because otherwise I'd be talking to myself right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are happy tears, I promise. I've got a clear blue one now. I'm going to do. And I've also got a digital, which I think I'll do to show Cody this afternoon. Oh my gosh. I have to, I can put up like a little thing. I have to surprise him. Oh my gosh. I can't tell anyone all day. I've got acupuncture this afternoon. Can I tell my acupuncturist? She's gonna know. I'm so thankful. If you're on the trying to conceive journey and you overthink every, every symptom, every sign, like you're honestly just like, you think you're going crazy. I think it's just, I can't believe it's actually real. This month I was like, okay, these are all my signs. But every month I've sort of thought things. Like I'm like, oh, that's implantation bleeding. Or, oh, I cried, so I must be pregnant. Or I think in my gut I knew I was. I didn't want to get my hopes up too much. Like I still had in the back of my head. It's probably going to be negative. Like every month it's been negative. That's like so positive, guys. Do you want to see it again? Look at that. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? Let me go get my digital. I just walked around the house. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm actually, oh, it says pregnant as well. Oh my gosh. It's got a line. I don't know if you guys can see it. What the heck? I have to surprise Cody. Okay, so this one's triple check and date. So I think the date one says like, I don't know which one the date one is. Chunkier one. I think the date one says like pregnant or not pregnant. Yeah, it does. It says pregnant, like one to two, two to three, three plus or not pregnant. So at least then that's like a super obvious one to code that you can see. Oh my gosh, Beck's pregnant. Okay, how do I work this thing? Is it the same as other ones? I have to go to work and just act like everything's normal. My prep teacher actually isn't there today. Cody's going to be so happy. Last night he said to me, have you got it yet? Like my period. And I was like, no. And he said, when are you going to test? I said, oh, I don't know. I don't know. He said, oh, like maybe next week. I was like, yeah. Little did he know I was planning to test this morning all along. I also just thought of some little like signs slash like amazing things that I was thinking of if I was pregnant. First of all, we got married on the 27th of March and today's the 27th of May. So it's like that date and Cody goes in for his second ACL reconstruction on Monday. So like three days away. And I thought to myself yesterday, I was like, how nice would it be for him to know that after all this trying, like it worked. And obviously he's going to be like in so much pain for the next at least month. He'll be off work for a while, but like, I don't want to pressure him to keep trying when he's in pain, if that makes sense. Like, oh, he's gonna be so happy. He's gonna be such a good dad. Oh, it says pregnant. It says pregnant, it says pregnant. It hasn't got the date yet, the weeks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so even when like I'm hopeful, I never really wanted to like tell codes. I have actually told him some of my like signs and symptoms, but I don't wanna get his hopes up and then crush them when I bleed. Two to three? Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 guys, what the heck? <laughs> oh. Why was it negative last week then, if I'm two to three weeks pregnant? Oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop saying that now. I have to think of something to like surprise Cody this afternoon and I'll have to film it. <sighs> Cody and I are having a baby. 